Hello viewers, in today's video we will see the signs that our injection nozzle is not working properly and what effect it has on our car, how to increase the service level of our car's injection nozzle and how we can protect ourselves from unnecessary expenses. If you are new to this channel please subscribe, like and share the video to more people. Now let's go directly to the video. Most vehicles from the 1980s and newer are equipped with advanced electronic fuel injection engines, replacing the carburetor. A major part of this system is the fuel injector, while you may never have a problem with your fuel injectors, especially if you regularly use a good fuel injector cleaner, sometimes they get dirty, clogged, or completely fail and need to be replaced, the basic function of a fuel injector is to supply the engine with fuel. The injector sprays fuel into the cylinder of the engine through a nozzle so that the internal combustion process can begin. The fuel must be delivered at the right time, in the right amount, and at the correct pressure, angle, and spray pattern. The engine control unit, ECU, is the central computer or brain of any vehicle and manages many individual components, such as the fuel injector. Via various sensors, the ECU makes sure the injector sprays fuel at the right time and in the right amount so the correct air-slash-fuel mixture is created. A vehicle's fuel pump pushes gasoline from the tank, through fuel lines, and into the fuel injectors. When the ECU determines fuel is needed, it communicates this to the fuel injector solenoid which then opens to allow the pressurized fuel to spray into the cylinder. Nine common bad fuel injector symptoms. If something were to go wrong with one or more of your fuel injectors, then your vehicle's engine won't be able to perform the way it's supposed to. A faulty fuel injector will either prevent fuel from being sprayed into the engine altogether or it will mess up the intervals at which it is supposed to be sprayed. Either way, your vehicle won't run the way it's supposed to or even be undrivable. Below are 9 signs of a bad fuel injector that you can recognize early on. Some of the symptoms of a clogged or dirty fuel injector may be similar so it's always a good idea to first try running a good fuel injector cleaner through your fuel system before spending the money to replace them. Number 1. Rough idle or engine stalls. Because your vehicle is not getting enough fuel or an uneven supply of fuel, the RPM while idling drops below the optimal level and results in a rough or even violent idle. If the RPM falls too low, the car will actually stall and you will need to restart. Number 2, Engine Vibrate A faulty fuel injector will cause the corresponding cylinder to not be able to fire. This means that while driving, the engine will vibrate or hiccup after it tries to finish each cycle without fuel. Number 3, Engine Misfires. If the engine does not get enough fuel sprayed into due to a clogged injector, then the engine will misfire as you drive. Your vehicle will struggle to accelerate or there will be a pause after you step on the gas pedal. Either way, you'll want to take care of the problem soon or the engine will be susceptible to overheating or other problems that occur when the proper air-slash-fuel mixture is upset. Number 4, Check Engine Light Turns On. The most obvious sign of a problem is when the check engine light illuminates on your dashboard. Although this could mean a lot of things, a bad fuel injector, indicated by a code such as P0201, could be one of them. Any time an injector delivers less fuel than needed, or more in some cases, the engine's efficiency is lowered and can trigger the CL to come on. Use an OBD2 scanner to confirm the issue. Number 5. Fuel Leak. If your fuel injector is actually broken or cracked from damage or old age, then gasoline will begin to leak out of it. This means the fuel won't be able to reach the nozzle but instead, it will leak from the body. If you check the fuel injector, you will notice gasoline on the exterior or on the nearby fuel rail. Often, the leak is coming from the fuel injector seal which deteriorates over time. Number 6. Fuel Odor. 
This goes along with a fuel leak but when you have gasoline that's not getting burned due to a damaged injector or one that's stuck open, you're going to smell gasoline. Sometimes the issue may be your fuel lines or a faulty sensor telling the ECU to inject more fuel than in necessary. Either way, you need to find the cause of the gasoline odor and fix it right away before it becomes a big safety hazard. Number 7. Engine Surge If the fuel injector is spraying too much fuel into the engine cylinder, this will create a surge in the engine causing your acceleration to be much slower. When you drive, you'll notice that the engine RPM will change noticeable under constant load rather than remaining at a constant RPM. Number 8. Bad Fuel Economy If the engine is not getting the right amount of fuel it needs for combustion, then it will place more demand on the injector to supply it with additional fuel. This results in poor fuel economy due to the excess fuel that the car's ECU thinks is needed but is in fact not necessary. Number 9. Failed Emissions Test Because a broken or leaking fuel injector can cause an uneven or incomplete fuel burn, increased emissions are a result. This means your chances of failing an emissions inspection increase greatly. In some cases, a fuel injector leak can cause the air-slash-fuel mixture to be so rich that it eventually burns out the catalytic converter. Our viewers, we have seen the symptoms of injection nozzle failure and what kind of effect it has on our car. After that, we will see the reasons why our injector nozzle does not work properly and even worse, it fails completely, the precautions and how we can clean our injection nozzle at home. One of the reasons that cause our car's injection nozzle to clog quickly is the quality of the fuel we use, so we need to focus on the quality of the fuel we use. The second reason is to travel with low fuel level. When we travel at a low level fuel, our car's fuel pump begins to suck dirt. When that happens, the dirt that has passed through the fuel pump and the fuel filter starts to enter the injector nozzle. As a result, you will face the problem of blocking the injector nozzle which will affect the condition of the sprayer. It causes problems such as fuel consumption, lack of energy, check engine light coming on the dashboard and so on. In the third reason adding wrong fuel, this situation is a very serious problem and can completely destroy our injection system, for example, adding gasoline to a diesel engine and adding diesel to a gasoline car and trying to start the car by mistake will cause serious damage to the injection system of our car. And when it passes, the damage may reach the engine especially for a diesel car. Listed so far are the things that endanger our injection nozzle, so by correcting these conditions, we can protect our car's injection system and make it work efficiently in the long run. For example, using quality fuel, not driving our car with low fuel, changing our car's fuel filter according to the manual mileage and cleaning our injection system properly, we should also occasionally use fuel treatment. And if we have used the wrong fuel, we have to drain the fuel without starting the car. It would be great if professional help is added to this. You can clean your car's injection nozzle by following these simple steps. First, we disconnect our car battery and take it down. When we disconnect our battery, we need to be careful. First, we need to disconnect the negative, then disconnect the positive, and then we need to disconnect the socket of our injector nozzle. After that, you can remove our injector nozzle and then follow the steps as you can see in the video to clean it. It is recommended to use original injector cleaner when cleaning. When the cleaning is done, you will need to put everything you have removed in its proper place. After that, when installing the battery, we must first connect the positive to the positive, then the negative to the negative. If something bothers you, you should seek professional help. After that, we need to start our car and make sure that there is no fuel leakage. If you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel and the click on the bell icon to get new video updates.